In Anderson, police are investing in technology they hope will help curb violence and solve crimes. Yeah, they say the city's new automatic gunshot detecting system has already made an impact. CBS 4 Scarlett O'Hara explains what exactly it does and how the community is responding. 175 automatic gunshot detectors have gone up around Anderson, where city leaders plan to add even more, aiming to crack down on violent crime. We have far too many shootings for the size of this community. Madison County Prosecutor Rodney Cummings says witnesses don't often stick around the scene of a crime, so the use of any new technology is hugely beneficial when it comes time to build a case. These shootings occur in areas where people are very reluctant to come forward and speak to the police. These Gunshot detectors give instant notification to the police. They can arrive at the scene quickly and still contact witnesses. Anderson has seen a steady rise in violence over the years. So last year, officials began adding flock gunshot detectors integrated with the city's 43 license plate readers. Police Chief Mike Lee says the system has already helped in the arrests of several suspects. For example, back in January, when a 38-year-old man was shot and killed, Lee says detectors allowed officers to respond six minutes before the first 911 call even came in. 2033 Pearl Street. Shooting. Seem not safe. The very next day, 30-year-old Kristen Walker and 19-year-old Isaiah Crawford were arrested, both now awaiting trial for murder. The street code uh, of not saying anything isn't getting us anywhere as a community. This community is falling apart. Houses and people are being shot up. Jason Fullington with the Madison County Hand Up Initiative says he supports any technology that helps reduce response times, but would like to see more proactive police work in the community as well. I would think that would go a long way in, in changing the culture of this, this area to uh, help build trust in the police department and also to uh, help show kids that there's a better way. Automatic gunshot detectors were also piloted by Indianapolis Metro Police, but IMPD announced earlier this year they wouldn't be keeping the system, saying it led to the same amount of evidence as 911 calls did. In response, Anderson's chief said, quote, the system has proven to be an effective tool for us and we will continue to invest in it. Anderson police declined our request to sit down for an interview, instead only answering questions over email. In the newsroom, Scarlett O'Hara, CBS 4 News. This